Hi there, I'm Kachun Yu from the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, and today we will learn how to create a fisheye module for Uniview using a template from the Worldviews network. And before I can begin, I will switch my view to my desktop so that you see what I see. And you may already have a link to the template file, but it can be found at files.worldviews.net slash technico and inside that technical folder you will see a number of templates I've already downloaded the fisheye template which is a zip file so let's open up the zip file and I will make a copy of um, the contents and put it onto my desktop since we want to personalize the fisheye I'm gonna go ahead and rename fisheye template to my fisheye and let's open this up and as you can see, there are a number of files in there. I'm going to go ahead and personalize these as well so that fisheye template JPEG becomes my fisheye JPEG. And then similarly, the mod file is also called fisheye. There's a license file so that if you decide to distribute this, you can decide what sort of copyright conditions or licensing conditions you want to have. Um, the JPEG is simply a fisheye image that was taken from a digital camera. And the module definition file is used by Uniview um, when it, you are loading uh, modules into um, a profile. So I'm going to go ahead and change these into my fisheye. And I also need to change the myfisheye.mod file. So again, um, we will need to change the fisheye template to my fisheye, and then also the new file name for the JPEG. So everything is now my fisheye instead of fisheye template. One thing that I also need to do, um, at least um, for the Gates Planetarium here at Den in Denver, is because we have a tilted dome that's tilted by 25 degrees, all of our Uniview um, installations or set up with this 25 degree tilt so I need to add in a minus 25 degree tilt. There are other parameters in here that you can alter to change the orientation of the fisheye but I won't mess with those. One other um, item that I will mention is the name of the module. So when you load it up um, this is what you will have to call it in order to control it. So I will go ahead and leave it as fisheye1 but obviously if you have lots of fisheyes you can uh, rename this um, to other names. So let's save this. And that's all I need to do. And now I can start up Uniview. And I need to bring up the user folder and drag my fisheye into the custom modules. And I also need to change the profile. So let's go ahead and Bring up the profile editor. It's taking a few seconds to start. And let's use my test profile. I'm going to scroll down. And here is my fisheye. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. Save the profile out. Close. And then let's start this particular profile. This should start relatively quickly. Now the more important thing about um, these types of modules, either slides or fish eyes, is that they do not show up in the object tree. So you won't find my fish eye or fisheye number one as it's called inside the object tree and what you have to do is we have to call it up from the command console so the way we do that is we type um, the name of the module uh, which is fisheye one and we want to set the property of the alpha value which is uh, relates to the transparency to hundred percent over um, one second. So it's going to fade up over one second. And before I do that, I'm also going to maximize my field of view 
since I want to see the entire fisheye. So we're going to switch this to Omni Map mode, which gives us a field of view of 180 degrees. And so when I type this command, you will see the fisheye come up. And alternatively, I can turn the transparency to full or the opacity to zero to make that disappear. Now, of course, you probably don't want to be typing these commands into the command console during a live presentation, and so you will probably want to have these programmed in as a custom event. So you have just watched how you can create a fisheye module for Uniview using a template from the WorldViews network. Thanks for watching.